just the other day that I should come over here and stay. I got to get my people out of Pharaoh's land and lead them on to the promised land. I said, oh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. As we're continuing our campfire stories and the amazing stories of the Bible, today we're going to learn about how God comes through for us in surprising ways. Who better to know that than my guest speaker? You know who he might be? I'm not going to let him speak right now. He's going to be in the story. We're talking out of Exodus, so I'm going to give you a few clues. He did a lot that God told him to do. No, not Pastor Mark. He loves to talk about God. Not Pastor Nate. Good guesses, though. Moses. We like to call him Mo. Stick around, watch the video, and we'll catch up with you afterwards. Good morning, Galilee! I'm Jedediah. And I'm Jedediah. And we're here to bring you the news on Channel 7, the Galilee and Gazette. The holiest news you'll find on your tablet. Now today, as you can still see, we are still outside in the woods camping as we continue our campfire series as we talk about the most amazing stories that you'll find in the Bible. Now, as you can see, Bob is not with us today. And just so we don't get confused or anything like that, we let you guys know Bob is on another actual vacation. So mm -hmm. we won't bother him. We won't call him. We won't do any of that. There's no miscommunication. Yeah, we got, I got his paper this time, yeah. not him. So Bob is on vacation, but we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be continuing our campfire stories and getting into what we're doing. And are you are you even paying attention? I see you uh, reading the back of this. Like, oh, yeah. I feel like you're not even listening. Yeah, so I bought these uh, cereals for our campfire series. And um, I based it off of whatever toy was inside. And oh, I think I found some really good ones. I can't wait to open them for well, the first time. Okay, well, let's let's get into them then. Let's, let's see what we... Why is mine open? That's oh. just the way it goes sometimes. Oh, okay, well, let's, let's see what what we got. What kind of toys are in here? Wow. Um, got a lot of cool stuff. Look at this. Wait. All right. Wrapper. I just have wrappers drink. in here. Oh. What? Is that all you have? Wait, a book. You got a book? Candy? you Oh, yeah. This is the good stuff. <laughs> Did you open mine ahead of time? Nah, I wouldn't have. Did you take that. anything out of here? I got all wrappers and nothing else. I can say I else. really like that stuff, but I, I can't say that I remember grabbing that box. Unbelievable. That. Well, kids, uh, we're going to forget about this for a second. We're going to, the story we're going to talk about, we're going to continue our campfire story series with, is talking about a story, get out of here. Um, unlike my unamazing box of cereal that I just so unfortunately had to get, um, we're going to talk about a story, quit your bragging, uh, about how God swoops down and saves the day. 
And he's really going to show us that God comes through for us in surprising ways through miracles and moments. And we're going to dive into a story. Barbara Wawa is going to kick us off. So let's go ahead and get it started. Get out of here. Thanks, guys. This is Barbara Wawa reporting live from Egypt. I'm looking for Moses. You heard about him a while ago. He was the baby that was put into the river, and Pharaoh's daughter found him and raised him in the palace. As Moses grew, rumor has it as a man, he saw an Egyptian slave being treated unkindly, and he made a very bad choice. He was scared, and he fled for his life. He ended up going to the land of Midian. Well, he actually got married, had a wife, had some children, and he became a shepherd. One time, while he was there watching his sheep by night, there was this burning bush. It was burning, but it wasn't burning. It's kind of confusing, but it's true. And it was talking to him. Here, it was the Lord. And the Lord said to him, Moses, take off your sandals. You're standing on holy ground. So Moses listened, and he took off his sandals. He didn't want to do that and not be in concourse with what the Lord was telling him. And then the Lord went on to tell Moses, you have to go back to Egypt and free your people. Tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Go save your people. So guess what? Moses took his family, and they went back to Egypt. Hi, I'm Shelly Grace, and I am here at the palace to talk to the Pharaoh. I just want to ask him a few questions to see what in the world is going on with him. Is it okay if I ask you a few questions? Actually, no, I, I know it's okay if I ask you a few questions. My first question to you is this. How was your visit with Aaron and Moses? <laughs> I'll tell you how that visit went. Moses told you to let his people go, to release all of them from slavery, and you didn't listen. And some terrible things happened right here in your kingdom. Now, I want to ask you another question. Did God keep his word? Yes, I'll tell you what. God has kept his word. There were so many plagues brought down here on this kingdom. Blood, frogs, lice, flies, boils, livestock, hail, dark, locusts, and darkness came on. And then the death of the firstborns in the kingdom. Oh my goodness, it was terrible. It was so terrible. I don't know what this man is going to do. So let me ask you this. What are you going to do now? That's it. Go get Moses and Aaron. Now. Go get them. Up. Leave my people. Take your Israelites and go worship the God just as you requested. I'm done. Take your flocks, your herds, all the Israelites, and leave. Now. Go. Sorry for all the commotion here in Egypt. Those things happening everywhere. I don't even know where my microphone is, but it's true. Pharaoh has told the Israelites to get out. Take your people and go. So last I heard, Moses and Aaron are collecting the bones of Joseph to take with him. Hey, has anybody seen where I put Joe's bones? Thanks, God. And the Lord told him he would protect them and all the Israelites with by day a cloud that will protect them, and by night, a pillar of fire to lead the way. Moses, don't you think this might be a bit excessive? No, I'd actually like it just a tiny bit bigger. So we have to do more? Just a little more. Woo, after a lot of traveling, it is high here, it is sunny up, but the Israelites have found a place to rest. They took camp up and they are right beside the Red Sea. So I'm here in Egypt and I came to try to see just what was going on exactly with Pharaoh. Rumor has it, he is so mad. No! No! What have I done? He's, ah! he's actually inside and I'm outside. He is. I'm getting out. Unbelievable! I'm getting I out of here. I believe I did that. No, no, no. What have I done? I let the Israelites go, and now there's no one here to do all my hard work and labor. Ugh, so, I've got, I've got to get them back. I've got to get them back. You, get my chariots ready. We're taking the army, and we're going to get them. Go! Move! Move! This story gets crazier by the minute. As Moses and the Israelites are leaving Egypt, guess what? Pharaoh has changed his mind, and he's chasing after them. The Israelites are down by the Red Sea by now, and they have found out that they're on their way, that Pharaoh and the Egyptian armies are chasing them. They are in hot pursuit. As I'm telling you the truth. So Moses and his people, the people are scared to death. They're crying, like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And Moses said, guess what? 
the Lord will show up in surprising ways. Wait till you see what happens. I wonder what God's going to do. Do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance of the Lord. The Lord himself will fight for you. You just need to be still. The Lord told Moses, raise up your staff, stretch out your hand over the sea, so we'll divide it and you will go through on dry ground. The Egyptian army chased the Israelites into the sea, and when the last Israelite made it safely onto the other side, the Lord told Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea. And when he did, the water came splashing down, and poof, the entire Egyptian army was completely gone. Can you believe it? I did say dry ground. God comes through for us in surprising ways. Wow. Back to you guys. Wow, yeah, what a great story, how everything came through, and a lot of surprises within that. And kids, while we were watching that, um, we got some Easter eggs up here, because what's really cool is, um, if you all know, if you ever went on an Easter egg hunt uh, or opened Easter eggs, sometimes you don't know what's going to be inside them. They're kind of like a surprise, kind of like our story today, where God is surprising us or does surprising things for us. When we open up an Easter egg, after we find them on an Easter egg hunt or whatever, you don't know if maybe you'll get money inside, you'll get some candy, lollipops, something like that. So it's a cool thing to kind of relate there. What do you think, yeah. Yedidai? Yeah, and it's cool to think that in our story today that God never left them. Mm. No matter what they were going through, God was always with them, waiting for them just for the right time to intervene. It was absolutely, great. absolutely. And kids, sometimes we think our circumstances are really hard or there's no, sometimes there's nothing maybe that we can do in a situation and we can't find comfort or strength or anything like that, but... That's when God parts the Red Sea, just like we saw in the story today. He comes in and he rescues us from whatever we're going through. We can turn to him. We can, we can trust him to do that and, and know that whatever hardship that we're going through, we need to have faith. And giving that situation or giving whatever it is to God and asking him boldly in prayer for what we need, God will come through and deliver. Yeah. God really does come through for us in surprising ways. Absolutely. What do you say? Do you want to open yeah, some of these? Yeah, I'm going to get Great. some of these. Um, <laughs> I'll take the gold ones. That's predictable. Predictable? What do you mean? I, I knew you were going right for the, the, uh, the gold eggs, right? They're uh -huh. going to have the best stuff in them. Yep. Let, let's see what we get. All righty. More wrappers. Well, you shouldn't have went for the gold ones. But <sighs> at least hey. I got some good stuff. Right. That's going to wrap us up here for today. Kids, we hope you have a great day, and uh, hopefully you find more than just wrappers. Wow, what a great job. What an amazing story. Parting the Red Sea and they walked on dry land, God definitely pulls through for us in surprising ways. So what we want to encourage you to do is if you have a journal or just a plain tablet, anything at all, get it out. I want you to write down some ways that you know that God has surprised you. I'm certain that there are more ways than you can count, but I'd like to hear about a few. So write them down, draw me a picture, color it, whatever. Get a little photo of it and send it to me at kathy at foursquarechurch.info. It's all spelled out. I would love to see it. It's important for us to remember that God pulls through for us in surprising ways, especially when things are kind of, you know, the way they are with everything. So we are glad that you're here and you're watching, but we're excited to hear what you have to say. We want to know how God touches you. It's super exciting. Stay tuned, though, because right after I'm finished, Michelle is going to come on, talk to you about this amazing craft that she has for you. She's going to tell you how to make it and where to find it. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Craft Time with Miss Shelley. This week in your parents' email, you're going to find a fun activity sheet. You're going to color it and cut it. Put your Israelite family onto a popsicle stick or maybe even just a pencil. You're just going to insert it into the Red Sea and your family will be able to walk through on dry land. Hope you guys have a super fun week. Thanks. Hey kids, this week's memory verse is coming to us from Psalms, so let's get right into it. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. Psalms 3, 3. Have a great week.